Hey gang, so I've been procrastinating making this video. I know I said I was gonna update <laughs> um, pretty soon after, you know, the whole thing with going to stay at my brother's, but um, I just, I just needed some time. Because <laughs> I can probably already tell it didn't go well. <laughs> so, um, basically... What happened was, um, I, so I had planned to take them in a single carrier, um, you know, just to see, I didn't think that they were going to do well, um, sharing a carrier and doing the whole car ride thing, um, just cause, you know, I know them, I know how they are, and, um, you know, it, for them, it just kind of doesn't matter um, where they are. They will fight <laughs> if, you know, there's not, you know, this is kind of like their, you know, if you've been following along, this is like their their one space where they like always get along and like anything else is just you know not gonna work. <laughs> so um <clears throat> they ended up fighting uh about halfway there well for half of the trip that to my brother's house which is about like 15 or 16 minutes away so um then the rest of the half of the trip they managed to um I managed to get them calm and I just had to keep patting them like this and um they didn't really snuggle together too much they just kind of kept separate um for the most part and then um, we got to my brother's house and set everything up. And I was hesitant about putting the litter box in because, you know, as you know, if you've been following on in the last, you know, several videos, I think, and my face, our Facebook page, then, you know, that, that's been a really big issue is that they just don't get along when there's a litter box around. And so there was a couple of times where it seemed like it was getting better and then it would just get bad again and... Um, there was a time when I thought that Jack got really injured. I mean, thankfully he was okay, but that was just really scary for me. And I, I think I finally decided at that point to take the litter box out and just see if I could um, sort of separate them as best I could to use the litter box from there out. So that was probably about like five or six um, in the evening. And so, I, or no, it was earlier than that. Because I think around 6, I try, I managed to <laughs> grab one of them, put him in the carrier, and put the litter box in. And then, you know, just kind of switch back and forth like that so that they could have something to eat and use the litter box. <clears throat> but um, they, even with the litter box out, they kept fighting. Which is pretty usual once the litter box issue has been sort of established there and they, they just kind of don't get over that and um so I don't remember what time oh it was kind of close to nine o'clock I think we ended up coming home and so I put them back in the carrier and they just the second they were in the carrier it was just you know, death cage match, and so I had to, you know, kind of <laughs> rock them back and forth to get them to stop, and it was just awful, and, like, they just, you know, like, I was trying to break down the crate, and they were fighting, and <laughs> to go pause and rock the, the carrier, and it was just really bad, and, I mean, luckily, they don't seem to have any, um, bad injuries, um, and thankfully, Jack was okay from the other, incident um with the litter box um uh, they since we've been back home they've just been growling at each other and trying to scratch at each other through the bars and 
so they just really have not calmed down and this is the first day that I've um, tried to do some bonding things because they seem like they're kind of calming down a little bit and um, it just seems like Jack wanted to be with Dodger but he's a little bit frustrated that the bars are there so I thought maybe I should try it so it looks like it's going well um so I think we're just I am nervous to put them back in the crate I'm not gonna put a litter box in there obviously but um I'm nervous to put them back in the crate um so I'm not sure what I want to do about that. I mean, I'm not going to stick them in there for a long time. It's probably just going to be, you know, a few minutes. Um, and just build up from there. You know, it's kind of like going back to square one. <laughs> and then just working up. So, um, I'm probably just going to do this for a bit, for a few days. And just see how their behavior goes towards each other. And if they seem to be calming down. A bit more and you know there's less growling and trying to get at each other through the bars and I'll then I'll I think I'll move to the crate and see if they can tolerate you know somewhere between a minute and three minutes in the crate and just start from there um, and hopefully work our way back up to the pen because that seemed like it might have been going well it was really hard to tell because I only did that for like two days or something I don't remember if I did it I know I didn't yeah because I didn't even do a video on that yet um because I didn't feel comfortable um, filming while they were kind of on edge so if you haven't seen on Facebook or Instagram I do have a new setup for our bonding with the crate I attached a um the pieces of a uh ferret nation cage so that we had a pen because uh, I was tired of breaking if you saw the other videos where I have them in floor space <laughs> and the eclipse video and everything I was breaking down those um what do you call them the cage the cubes the grids um <laughs> which I use for to you know protect under my desk um so I was you know pulling that apart and putting it back together. I mean, they're just zip tied together to the, um, it's like a whole thing that runs like around the, around the, around my bed. So it blocks off, you know, under my bed and then it attaches, um, this way to the grids here so because like here's my desk and here's my bed and so it just attaches this way and so I just unzip tie this side and pull the whole thing um into the bonding room and so I was just tired of doing that and you know it's pretty flimsy so I can't really and it's not that big I would have to take apart the whole thing um you know from my bed to to the desk to really get a bigger pen, pen size and so that was a little bit frustrating because I feel like the one, when I used it for the Eclipse, I feel like that was probably too small a space for them. I'm not really sure. It just seemed like they were, it was a bit more trouble because they wanted to, you know, one wanted to use the space and it was a bit too small for the other one to kind of find a place that was comfortable to be. So, um... And then I realized, oh, I have this ferret nation cage still sitting around and I could use that and I could also like then sit in there and it would be strong enough to, for me to lean against. Hi, buddy. Oop, you got dripping on your ear. Yeah, the drippy faucet. <laughs> Trying to like wipe it off him, but anyway. So yeah, it's, um, there's a picture of it posted to, I think, both my Facebook and my Instagram so it's been for the two times that I got to use it before we had this horrible, you know, incident at my brother's house. It was really nice. And um, so I could just sit in there and be comfortable. The only thing is I couldn't stretch out anymore, which is a bummer. But whatever, sacrifices. <laughs> so um, they seem to be doing okay with it. Um they were just exploring around a little bit, 
one at a time, so I wasn't quite sure how it would go if they were both trying to be in the space at the same time. Um, and see, just a giant water drop. <laughs> Poor baby. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm not sure how they would have done um, sharing the space at the same time. I think maybe once they kind of came out and then you know, one of them quickly just kind of went back in the crate. And so that would kind of made me feel like, well, maybe it'll be okay if they, you know, you know, share. <laughs> if they both come out at the same time, maybe they're going to be okay. And um, so I was just doing that. Mm, I don't remember how long we were at. I think it was just so long because they they just came out for a few minutes and then they'd go back in the crate and everything would be fine. So I think we were just kind of still doing our like hour long sort of sessions. And it seems to be about like at the two hour and a half, two hour mark that it's, they get kind of, they start, you know, getting restless either because they're hungry or because they use need to use the bathroom and it's hard for me to take them back to their pen to use the bathroom because um <clears throat> excuse me because um <laughs> it's just hard to get them back in the pen safely because they just want to jump out of my arms <laughs> to use the bathroom and I was like I gotta go I gotta go you know it's like holding a squirmy toddler <laughs> who needs to pee so <laughs> um yeah, that's why I'm just, I, I'm just kind of keeping it short, even though they could go longer and they would want to go longer. They, just, they don't have, they, since they can't share their litter box and can't seem to share their hay, I don't know if they would share the vegetables, like I said in one of my other videos. You know, that one time we tried floor time in here, they didn't seem to be able to share, you know, their individual, or, I mean, they weren't even sharing, actually. They each had their own individual piles of vegetables and you can see in that video it just it didn't seem to work and uh, before it did when we were downstairs in the foyer it did work and so I don't know I don't know what's going on with that so those are two things we need to figure out is how to share a litter box and if we can share food and you know sharing territory it just seems like maybe they can, but we have to go really slowly for them. Because otherwise they do seem to get territorial. Because um, that's what my my sister-in-law was asking. I was like, have you ever put them just in a large space when they fight? And I was like, yeah, they do. We've tried it. I've tried to um, give them the upstairs. And it went okay for about like a minute or two. And then they just um, chased each other, and it was easier to, um, separate them, because I could just close it, you know, one would be in one room, <laughs> and the other one would run out, you know, and as long as I could, you know, close the door before the other one caught up, it was fine. The only problem is, is once they do cut, catch up to the other one, it just goes into that, you know, ball of fighting which is really really hard to break up and it gets really really violent very quickly and it's scary <laughs> and you know it's not just you know you know people would say you know fur flying is fine and I think you know fur fur pulling you know I don't really worry about but when it's like that it's very hard um to break it up and they start um these two just really they go for the face this is what was happening in the crate at my brother's house so they just go for the face the eyes and um the i don't know I guess <laughs> genital region and the uh, butt region <laughs> and just i mean it's like thank god they're neutered because you know i can see how you know i've heard a lot of a lot of stories and seen one too many pictures of um male the aftermath of two male rabbits fighting and um, being castrated by the other and it's horrible and now I completely understand you know how that happens because that's what these two do and you know 
thank God they don't have anything there. So I think it's just, you know, as far as I can, I could tell after I um, got them home and could look them over, it's just, you know, they're just biting the fur there. And, you know, there's not, there's thankfully no damage um, to any skin or anything there. So, um, but I just, you know, I go with the rule of don't let it get into the, you know, bunny ball of <laughs> fighting. Because it's just, it gets bad quick. And, like, I don't, I think I was about to say is that they do box each other. And so that can get um, pretty intense pretty quick. And, you know, those are some, those are some big, big feet and some powerful kicks that can really do damage. So I don't let that happen. I think, you know, if it was just just nipping and just a little fur that you know whatever <laughs> but the bunny ball no <laughs> just no that's where I draw the line it's just no so um yeah uh so that's where we're at I guess it's just been a difficult time because I'm just really not sure where to go from here. Um, whether they're ever going to be able to share a litter box, which really, and food, which really is um, kind of, to me, seems like the deciding factor <laughs> of whether they can have any kind of life together because I know um one of our Instagram friends has two bunnies that they don't allow together when um you know they're not able to supervise but the two bunnies they're also um brothers I think um and th so they let them out when they're around and able to supervise and they do okay um but they just don't share housing together and um they just don't you know free range when there's you know not supervision and so it's kind of like I wish we could get to that point but I don't know that we can because of the whole litter box issue like I just don't know because they would have to go back to a litter box at some point and I don't know you know I just don't know how that would work <laughs> so um, and it's hard because I think they do miss each other, um, you know, when, when they're getting along in our bonding sessions, and then when there's days that I can't do a bonding session, they do seem to miss each other, and, um, you know, are really happy when we are able to do a bonding session again. Um, you know, like right now, since they're not getting along, you know, they kind of don't miss each other and they don't want anything to do with each other. And they have been a little bit more, not even a little bit more, a lot more affectionate with me. And I don't know if that's because they're fighting or just, I mean, some of it was going on before the fighting, but, um, it just, I'm kind of wondering if it's just a lot more lately. Because they are fighting and they just need, you know, attention. But they don't want it from each other, like, at all. Like, they just... <laughs> you really don't want to be around each other. And... So I know, though, that... Today it's been a little bit better. And in the coming days, you know, if I, w if I hadn't done this today, I know it would have been harder for them. And they, they would have started to miss each other, I think. I'm pretty sure. So it's just a really difficult spot to be in and I don't, I don't really know what to do and I feel like we're stuck and so yeah, it's just been a little <laughs> depressing, I guess. So, they don't know how to help you. I think, I think that you really do want to hang out together, but you are very territorial about certain things. Yes. 
you know, so I don't know if you can get over that. That's our stumbling box. I just don't know if that's going to be possible. And I don't know how to keep you happy if we can't do that. <laughs> because it makes it very difficult. Yes, it makes it very difficult to get your needs met. Yes. Yes, but see, you like this. Yes. You'll miss it. And you're like, oh. I like when you pay attention to me, Mama, but it's not the same. <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> so, um, I know I usually say I don't know when I'm going to update, but I really don't know when I'm going to update. <laughs> um, this is going to take a while, and I don't think, um, I don't know that, that there's a point to, you know, videotaping, <laughs> or whatever, videotaping, I'm so old, um, recording video, um, you know, it's just kind of a repeat of where we've already been, um, for the next little bit, it's not going to be anything new, you can pretty much go back and see all the tapes from the beginning, <laughs> all the video from the beginning and it will be the same as what I'm going to be doing for the next um however long this takes we'll see um so yeah uh, could be a while you know I'm hoping it'll just maybe be a week but it might be like more two two weeks <laughs> two and a half weeks, I don't know, I mean, the crate is really the big question right now, is whether that we can put, whether I can put them back in there, and whether they will, I'll share that again or not, so, um, um, you know, Instagram and Facebook, <laughs> I haven't been updating my Facebook lately, just because, you know, again, it's just, there hasn't been much to say, because it's just been, really sad for me to try and, you know, see if there's a way to work this out, because I just, at this point, I just can't see how it's going to work in my head yet, and so it's just really getting me down. Yep. So, but, um, I think once we kind of get through this, and I'm, um, back to the crate, I'll update that, and just, um, up the, the Facebook page to say that we're back in the crate. And, um, so, yeah. I'll check in here though and make a new video once I get to a point where hopefully, fingers crossed, I can attach the pen again and start working on that again. Um, I'm hoping that'll, that'll work. Yep. But like I said, that'll probably be a while. So, we'll see you when we see you, I guess. <laughs> That's so awkward an ending. But hopefully, and I did post um, to a bunny group asking for some, you know, suggestions. And if anybody has one, um, I do have a couple. I'm just not sure that they'll work. Um, I think we just need to get used to that pen, um, and then I can maybe try it out. I don't know, we'll see, it just, I'm just, again, I'm just not sure how, in my head how it's gonna work, so, um, I'm having a hard time figuring out the safest way to try that out, um, so, um, awkward ending, like I said. It's a little bit of an awkward ending right now. <laughs> Alright. That is all. <laughs>